Hi there, Dan Andritzi with Remax bringing you the market review uh, year end. Uh, we're going to compare 2011 with 2010 today and try and get a real good handle on exactly what happened last year as opposed to the year prior in order to show us hopefully what's going to happen this year, what we can expect in 2012. So a uh, quick side note, uh, we've gotten a little behind in our market updates here, so please look for uh, January and February uh, after you watch this video. Uh, and again, this video is, we're going to look at the uh, year in review, uh, compare all of 2011 with all of 2010. Uh, just going to pick out some of the most important uh, stats, some of the, the bigger ones, starting with uh, uh, the total number of listings. Uh, in 2011, last year, there was, uh, and we're doing the Santa Clarita Valley as a whole here, not not focusing on Valencia. So for, for all of Santa Clarita, we had uh, 61,000, I'm sorry, 6,128 listings last year. Uh, in 2010, we had 6,135. So almost the exact same number of listings last year as there were the year prior. Uh, total number of escrows closed year in 2011 was 4,083. In 2010, that number was 3,676. So we had about a 10% change, 10% uh, more escrows closed last year as opposed to 2010. Our total sales volume in 2011 uh, was uh, one. 0.234 billion. In 2010, 1.291 billion. Uh, for a total change of about 4%, we dropped about 4% in our total volume of uh, real estate sales. Uh, total months uh, inventory or the absorption rate, the amount of time that a home was sit on the market. Uh, in 2010, we were averaging 5.6 months. In 2011, we were averaging three months. So a huge reduction there, of about 46%. Uh, homes were selling in about 46% less time in 2011 than they were in 2010. Uh, our average sales price in 2010, this is interesting, uh, I'm sorry, in 2011 was $315,000. However, in 2010, it was $353,000. So we're looking at about a 10% drop in the average sales price. However, that doesn't mean that the average property or, or properties in general in Santa Clarita lost 10% value. That simply means that the, the hot part of the market, the more active part of the market last year was the 300 to 350 range. In 2010, it was the 350 to 400 range. Uh, at the end of the day, we still had 10% more sales last year than we did in 2010. And uh, our last st uh, statistics, the uh, number of sales to list price uh, last year was 67% as opposed to 60% in 2010. So an extra 7% of homes actually sold at or above list price last year as compared to the year prior. So again, that average sales price number uh, can be a little bit misleading if you uh, don't interpret it correctly. Uh, however, like I said, all that means is that the, the uh, hot part of the market uh, in 2011 was the 300 to 350 range, whereas in 2010 it was the 350 to 400 range. So just an anomaly there. All in all, the most important parts of this uh, study are the facts that uh, we have almost the exact same number of listings at, in 2011 as we did in 2010. However, we sold about 10% more of those. and about 7% more of those sold at or above list price. So as you can see, the trend is showing, uh, is pointing us in the direction of another strong year here in 2012. Uh, hopefully we can have another 10% increase in those number of listed homes being sold, and uh, hopefully an extra you know, 7% of those would sell for at or above list price. So. Uh, that's sort of the uh, the gist of, of what happened in uh, 2011. Hopefully it can help us prepare for this year, 2012. And it, all signs are pointing to another strong year in terms of uh, number of sales. Still a lot of good buys out there. And interest rates are still below 4% for well-qualified borrowers. Uh, every reason in the world to uh, supplement your investment portfolio with a, a uh, income property or uh, if you're a first-time buyer, it's time to get a home, and uh, you can get them a lot cheaper now than you could a few years ago. So take advantage of that. Uh, if you have any additional questions, my website is danielsellsscv.com. 
My cell phone is 661-904-3736. Please feel free to call me anytime and I'll be happy to chat with you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.